All right, I'm gonna talk about today the entire system here uh, for the electric side of how the chicken coop gets take care of, uh, taken care of, I'm sorry, uh, both throughout the summer and throughout the winter. So uh, again, this is my revised version of everything, so you guys kind of get to learn a little bit from my mistakes. But uh, here, here's how everything works. So um, I've got two kind of electrical boxes, I guess you can call them. I started off with this, just this one here, which is just a toolbox. And it's mounted to the side of the coop. And it's kind of how I ran all my electrical connections. So everything that needed electric went to the bus bar and then from the bus bar to the battery. So I originally had the battery sitting in here as well. And those were the two. I left them there just in case I ever do want to put it back in. Um, but I upgraded from this little battery, which was like, you know, 10 bucks or whatever on Amazon, to one that's got a little more uh, amperage. Because I kept running into an issue where when the lights were on, when the battery got a little bit older, uh, the door wouldn't go up and vice versa. When the door was running, the lights wouldn't come on. So uh, this was a 12 volt, uh, 5 amp hour, small battery. It, uh, it worked real well all summer, but now that it's getting to be fall and it's starting to get a little bit of age on it, it's just starting to wear out. So uh, what I just upgraded to was a substantially larger battery and it's 12 volt as well, uh, but this is 18 amp hours. So here's the 18 amp hour battery. And, uh, and then this is actually a battery stator uh, that you can plug into 120. And this will keep your battery at, you know, topped off all, summer, all winter long. So uh, during the winter, I'll be plugging it in. So the cord comes out the bottom and runs over here to my other cord here. And I've got a little uh, adapter that is not out here right now, but I'll be plugging it in. So. Um, both of the, that cord there, the one that goes into the waterers, that actually is what has my two bird bath heaters in it. So that's what keeps the water from freezing over the winter. And then this other cord here that stretches all the way over and back to the Black & Decker battery uh, maintainer or stator, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, keeps the battery up. So, um, but all summer long, I actually had everything running off of my solar panel. So I never, I never had to run an extension cord out here in the winter or during the summer. I'll only need to one run, run one out here in the winter for when I actually uh, need to plug in the uh, water heaters. So during the summer, um, everything just charged off the solar panel. So these two lines here that you can kind of see, that clip, these two alligator clips that clip onto the battery, come back up in here and go to, go to the uh, solar power controller. And uh, I did solder in a diode here and this is a one-way valve basically for electricity that allows electricity to come from the solar down and through and into the battery but not vice versa I didn't want it feet back feeding because it'll back feed and tell you when at night when it's not plugged in and I didn't see any reason to light up a little LED for no reason so uh, you can get a little diode I think I got on Amazon for a couple of cents um, and then these are my two 12 volt timers I got these on Amazon as well everything here is all basically purchased from Amazon uh, other than the containers. I got those at Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two. Uh, but these little 12 volt timers are great. These are actually control both the chicken motor and the lights inside. So uh, the one on the left here is what controls the motor and I have that program to go twice a day. It turns on in the morning. It actually turns on and off in the morning and then on and off at night. So it turns on for, on for about uh, five minutes you could probably set it to one minute so it comes on like right now I have it come on at uh, 6 30 in the morning and shuts back off at 6 35 and then it comes back on again in the evening at about 7 30 and shuts back off at 7 35 so all that does is power you know give enough power to the chicken motor for it to run long enough for it to uh, open and close the door in the evenings and in the mornings so and then uh, this is the timer that I use for the lights this one actually only runs in the evenings I have it set to run for about two hours in the evening and this just gives the chickens some light um, so they can get into their roost and also you know the more light they have uh, supposedly the better they'll lay um, so that's what controls that and let's just drill a hole through and into the actual coop and I think there's some ladies in here right now but uh, you can kind of get the gist of what's going on um, there's the chicken motor door or chicken door motor and uh, that's the one that hooks to the one and then here's actually two 12 volt LED I think they got maybe 12 LEDs on each one but these were just uh, for like 
a car interior and all I did was just solder some wire to them and uh, so they're 12 volt lights that light this thing up really well two little LEDs and they barely use any electricity and then those run back here and hook to this one timer so that's what uh, lights up the chicken coop at night and that's the chicken motor those are the two things and that's kind of the uh, the electrical panel box system that I've got to keep everything dry and then of course the, uh, the solar panel actually runs underneath the egg boxes and then up here and there's the solar panel itself actually sitting on top of the gate so you know it was pretty nice the entire setup it wasn't super expensive uh, maybe like $30 and it came with the charge controller and the tro uh, solar panel itself so I thought that was a you know pretty nice deal to keep everything and like I said I I had that this little battery and it lasted from when I put built the coop um, and put everything in which would have been in I guess May uh, all the way till September when it really started just starting to act up so if, uh, if that solar panel can keep that thing running with a couple hours a night and the motor going up and down twice a day I thought that was pretty good and then uh, this bigger battery should be uh, should be awesome then and then over the winter of course that stator will just keep it charged and it's just gonna be plugged in anyway so uh, but that's kind of the electrical system for the coupe so thanks for watching the video